Hi there. Um, I'm sure many of you know we've been looking at the Wi-Fi kettle recently. Um, it had some security bugs in it, one of which was it leaks the uh, user's Wi-Fi pre-share key um, if you set up with the Android application. Um, the manufacturers recently launched the um, Kettle 2.0 and the Smarter Coffee Machine. So we've been having a look at those to see how they operate and if they have the same sort of bugs. Now, first things first, when you start it up, this in unconfigured mode um, sets up an ad hoc wireless network. These don't. They work as access points, which is great. It makes it just a little bit easier to talk to them. So you can set up with them, connect to them. The SSID is Smarter Coffee AA. Easy to find. I'm sure we'll see some of those on Wiggle.net soon enough. Connect to it. It runs um, TCP and UDP services, port 2081. I'll connect to that. And we've got some messaging going on. Um, that's actually a status message, a bit of a heartbeat, if you like, tells us what's going on on the coffee machine, how fill is a water reservoir, other sort of things. Um, now, we've connected to it, how do we talk to it? What can we do with it? Now, there's two ways of doing this. Either you can um, fuzz it, you can just throw loads of traffic at it, which we've done some of as well, or you can look at the Android application. That's over here. The way it works is remarkably simple binary protocol, and a good example of that is um, over here. This is basically compiling a message, decimal 13, which is equivalent to um, uh, hex. It's an ASCII carriage return. So if I wanted to, I could actually send a couple of carriage returns to it and see what it starts doing. Um, it takes a few moments to do this, but what it's now doing, the command has now gone to the module there, it's now started a scan for wireless access points. Not a real security bug, but it does mean potentially you could go Wi-Fi stumbling with a coffee machine, which I think is quite amusing. So that doesn't tell us so much. What I'm more interested in is trying to identify what's going on in here. And one of the commands we found after pulling apart the Android app and having a bit of a fuzz, we discovered the command J. And that's where things started getting interesting. I don't know if you can see here, but um, command J discloses some information, that's AT plus GMR, and that is fantastic because that tells us which wireless model, model we're using. You can look up quite quickly and it's one of those. It's an ESP8266, one of the most common wireless modules around, really easy to use, very, very popular, about three bucks up to about seven bucks, depending on how you configure it. Um, fantastic. So we've managed to find some command sets that tell us what's going on. Now that's interesting, okay, we've got the SDK version, lots, lots more we can do. Now, what I really wanted to know is could we take control of an unconfigured device? And that's a really important point here. We haven't managed to compromise a configured and set up coffee machine, but we want to know if we could drive past someone's house, someone who hadn't actually set it up. And we found a lot of those in, um, in West London with the, the Wi-Fi kettle, so these things do exist. And after a bit of playing around, um, modifying traffic, fuzzing a bit, looking at the mobile application, we discovered it's actually not that difficult. All you can do is send it um, a decimal seven, and that should start it brewing. There we go. So we've now got someone who's got one of these coffee machines, they haven't got around to setting it up over Wi-Fi, which is quite a common occurrence. We can waste the coffee, we can waste their water, we can um, waste their electricity, all sorts of crazy stuff that you can do with this. Now, we haven't succeeded in an attack against this on a configured device yet. That's the next step. So we're looking at ways to see if we can pass through commands. The command we're looking for with that particular model is um, AT plus CW SAP, which is the one that retrieves the user's um, Wi-Fi pre-share key. Um, keep an eye on us. We'll be um, working hard on this over the next couple of months. We'll let you know if we've succeeded.